All right, so I'm going to introduce you to QuickTime as a way of recording your desktop, as a way of doing webcam videos, and if need be, as a way of recording audio. So you'll need to launch QuickTime. QuickTime is built into the Mac operating system, so there's nothing for you to install. So you just need to have your chosen way of finding it. I like to use the Spotlight. So I'll open them up. All right, so it looks like nothing's happening, but we've got the QuickTime player happening up here. So if we go to File, we can do a new movie recording. All right, so this is pretty straightforward. There we go, it's chosen my webcam. If you have other cameras plugged in, you can switch between those and you can uh, turn your microphone on or off if you need to. And there's no options, I don't think. Yeah, you can switch between high and maximum, uh, depending on what it is you're planning to do with it. And then it's just simply a matter of hit the record button, let it record, hit stop, and it's done. You simply then need to choose what you want to do with it. You can push it straight to YouTube. Uh, or through any of the other social media. That's not what I wanted. Um, so then you'll need to save it. Uh, it'll default to your documents folder. We'll put it on the desktop where all good things go. Give it a name, we'll call it test for now, and save it. There you go, and that would be on your desktop. You would then drag and drop that to uh, Google Drive, uh, if that's or attach it to whatever you need to attach it to. The thing that you do need to be aware of with QuickTime stuff is that even short videos can end up taking a fair bit of memory. That one was quite short, obviously, so it's only taken 3.5 meg, but it can turn into a big file very quickly. In a different um, helper video, I'll explain how you can compress the video before you actually upload it. All right, so we'll open up QuickTime again uh, and have a look at your desktop recording. So this is the screen recording option you've got here. All right, you can set the area that you want to include in your recording. All right, so I'll set it to that. And the other thing you want to have a look at is your options. There's quite a few in here that you'll want to have uh, a look at. So you probably want to tell it to save to your desktop. Uh, don't set the timer. Uh, make sure that you've got a microphone set if you're going to do a um, narration with your video and you might want to show your mouse clicks as you go and then simply matter of hit the record button and away it'll go and the way to stop the recording is up here in your um, menu up here there'll be a, a button there so you just press that and that will stop the recording and it just shows up there called screen recording and again let's just check the size on that seven meg not too bad because only a short video but again uh without too much effort for a longer video it can get quite big uh as an example i had one that was six and a half minutes for one of the other screencasts that i've done it was 130 meg which doesn't mean much but that's quite big for a six minute video particularly after i compressed it and it came down to half that size. So it's just one of those things with quick time recordings. Um, and then again, within QuickTime, you can also do an audio recording. So again, just like the video recording, just hit the, the red button to start recording. And it'll record your voice, press it again to stop recording. There it is there. And then you'll need to go save and tell it where you want it to save. Um, uh, and then that'll show up there. It's an M4A, a uh, bit of a difficult format to use sometimes if you're not prepared to convert it first. Uh, not everything will play it, uh, but yeah, they're the chances you take. 
The, on the plus side, QuickTime, it's on your computer, nothing to install, not too many options for you to get lost in. The, the, the big con in my view is that it makes a, a fairly big file and you need to go an extra step of actually compressing it to make it um, quicker to upload to, to YouTube or whatever. All right, that's an introduction to QuickTime.